Hi, I'm not an alcoholic, but for those of you who are, I can make it sustainable. I gotta testify, come up in the spot looking extra fly. For the day I die. Has this ever happened to you? It's August 17th, 2017. You're at a house party taking shots with your boys. When one of your buddies, Felix, says, Hey man, can I make a drink for you? And you're like, oh yeah, go for it. And you look at him and he starts pouring every single alcohol in the cup. Then he says, here, take this. And you, in your inebriated mind, says, hell yeah, I love battery acid. Then you wake up in the bathtub, throwing up. You look to your right, your roommate is also throwing up because he also drank the battery acid. And you start chanting, I am thou, thou art I. Thou has created a blood oath. Then suddenly, you wake up at a different house 10 miles away. Your fake Yeezys are missing. Your cardigan is missing. Your roommate is missing. Battery acid Felix is sleeping peacefully on the other couch next to you. You have bruises on your arms and your head because you try to do a backflip, which you can't even do while sober. And you hear someone throwing up next to you in the bathroom. Has that ever happened to you? Because if it has, I've got product for you. According to my 30 seconds of research, you should drink 16 ounces of water for every 12 ounces of beer or four to six ounces of liquor to help prevent a hangover. One of the biggest problems alcoholics have is self-control. So they probably don't regulate how much water they intake while drinking. That's where this comes in. In case you haven't seen one before, this is a Camelback, which is basically a water bottle backpack it's often used in outdoor activities like hiking or biking so you can keep your hands free while drinking. Normally when you use it, you have to suck the water bottle out of the straw, which is pretty useful. However, as we covered earlier, drunkards have no self-control. Therefore, we solve this issue by forcing them to drink water by making the Camelback automatic. We have our tube, our other our other tube, our water pump. We've got an AC adapter to plug into the wall because that's right, nothing screams party like having to stay in one spot. Uh, I don't know what this is. Um, the This other thing, the adapter thing. Screws, that, that's it. The plan is to add a pump that's on a timer that siphons water out of the camelback and shoots it out. This forces the person wearing it to either drink the water or get obscenely wet. Hopefully they'll choose the drinking option. Here's a two second build montage. All right, this is water pump test number one. Um, as a disclaimer, don't mess with wall power. If I die here, it wasn't the wall power that killed me. It was my hubris. Uh, it kind of worked. Uh -oh. Okay, water test number two. I'm pretty sure it worked. This is what it looks like. Pretty cool, right? 
Uh, so I'm going to plug it in and hopefully it works. I'm pretty sure it works. You just got to Oh God. Okay, yeah. Oh, oh fuck. Uh, it does work. You just gotta give it a little motivation. And also wait like 30 minutes, so. Ah, see? Mmm! <coughs> Ugh. Sink water. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, my microphone. I mean, it works! I think it's out of water. So as you can see, if you're out drinking, and it just start, it just, it just starts spew. Hold on. If you're out drinking and it just starts spewing water, you have to drink it or you're gonna get wet. Mission accomplished. Well, it works. Um, what else do you want? There's no parties going on and I'm not gonna drink alone. So I guess I can't really show you it in live action. Uh, I guess that's it. Wait, no!